restoration artist in Istanbul is being praised for his efforts and he uses microscopes and cotton swabs to restore key artifacts from the Byzantine period. Now, since Turkey decided to convert the famous Hagia Sophia into a mosque, concerns have risen about the precious frescoes inside the 6th century monument. Take a look at our next report for more. This is Greek restorer Venizelos Gavrilakis. His work is painstaking and delicate. He uses cotton swabs and microscopes to restore religious artifacts across churches, all in an effort to preserve precious Byzantine history. As difficult as this period might be, it will eventually pass. Our work, on the other hand, on all these precious and timeless artifacts, will always be there for the people to see it, get inspiration and strength from it, and remind them the unlimited possibility of the human mind that can create such a wonderful things that live through the century. The restorer relocated to Istanbul eight years ago from Thessaloniki in Greece and has since worked with a team to preserve and restore icons, frescoes and paintings in 25 Greek Orthodox churches. His latest work involves restoring a 16th century depiction of the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. A mammoth task which has seen plenty of delays and hiccups due to the coronavirus pandemic. And ever since Turkey decided to convert the famed Hagia Sophia and the Chora church into mosques, concerns have risen about the preservation of the Byzantine history. As both these monuments are considered to be Byzantine landmarks. Throughout Istanbul's Christian Byzantine and then Muslim Ottoman history, many of these precious artifacts were damaged or lost in war. Which is why this Greek restorer's work gains paramount significance. His team has already restored a film portrait from the 2nd or 3rd century BC. This restorer comes with a wealth of experience. He trained in Italy and Greece and worked on more than 40 churches. He hopes that his painstaking work will bring people together during the testing times of the pandemic. I believe the unifying message of the churches is not lost during this difficult time that we are going through and that in order to fight this pandemic we all should remain spiritually united. We should help each other and do what is right to improve our society. Bureau Report, we are World is One.